a, this is a review of the Elk International Urban Lights and GWG outlet out of Florida and also house.com. I ordered these three pendant lights from house GWG outlet made by Elk International to put them in my new remodel and wanted to show you what happened when we tried to hang these. There are the three lights from a 12 foot ceiling. We're gonna put a diamond cable underneath here. But once they were hung, I noticed that they were not level. So look at this one. This one clearly is lopsided, it swings over to the right. The right side lower than the left, clearly. Look at this one. Clearly not level. And then this one. This one's almost level, but still slightly to the left. And it's really clear when you come from this angle. Three lights, three different uh, degrees of imbalance. So I contacted Howes initially, and these were put in 37 days after I ordered them. So once it was beyond the 30 day policy, they said there was no refunds, which is really crappy considering, you know, we're doing a house remodel. So when we get, uh, we ordered these lights, you know, it's really the timetable of the house remodel um, that dictates when we're gonna be able to set up these lights. So it was 37 days. They said it was outside the refund policy. They couldn't do it. I contacted GWG out of Florida. And the person I initially spoke with, her name was Dia. She was actually pretty nice. I sent her pictures of what I just showed you here. And I could tell she felt, she felt pretty embarrassed and felt bad for me, uh, but it wasn't in her power. So she sent it over to whoever manages customer service, customer returns, and they replied to me that it was outside of the 30 day window, so they would not take these. So I wrote to Elk International as well, sent them an email with all of these photos, and they replied, uh, actually they never replied. So I contacted GWG Outlet again, asking for some, some leniency in their 30 day policy, because look, clearly these, these are defective lights and not something I can simply fix. They said they talked to a technical manager and what they recommended was that uh, if I hung these lights for a longer period of time that they would straighten out. So obviously that is idiotic because the laws of physics dictate that that cannot happen. Um, these lights clearly were not balanced when they cut the holes in the top and no amount of time is going to straighten that. These have been hanging for like two and a half weeks at this point and they're still as crooked as they were um, after one minute of hanging like this. So I think it's really unfortunate that this is how uh, GWG Outlet and Elk International treats their uh, customers. They are basically telling me that this is standard and this is to be expected when you buy their products. Uh, to me, they're clearly defective and they're sticking me with uh, the bill. These were not cheap. They were like $230 each. The total bill was like $880. So um, yeah, it really sucks. And I'm just gonna throw these in the trash and get replacements. I wanted to share with you the emails I got from GWG Outlet. This is after I sent them pictures showing how crooked that the pendants were. They stated, in the stock picks, the wire is fed through tiny loops attached to the strain relief cable to appear straighter. The weight of the shade should act with gravity in a small period of time to straighten itself out as it is hanging a bit. Think about that. Gravity is going to straighten it out after hanging a bit. That makes zero sense. We know that doesn't work. In order to straighten this out, you would have to either add more material to the side of the concrete pendant to balance it, kind of like balancing a tire, or you would have to re-drill the hole in a place where it is balanced. And this is what GWG or Elk International want me to do. Basically, 
engineer it myself to get those lights to balance. It's ridiculous. My response to them was, respectfully, I would like to return the pendant. I do not believe that the pendant will straighten as a matter of physics. The hole is not centered, plain and simple. Some are more unbalanced than others. It is a defect unless the manufacturer intended that these pendants hang crooked. And if that is the case, the product listing should state so in a disclaimer. And this was their last message to me. We did reach out to the manufacturer and our account manager. Please know that they are usually great about their customer service and stand by their products. In this case, there are two issues. One is that it is out of the 30 days to return period policy. Secondly, they have been installed. All lighting fixture companies have the same policy. They do not accept any returns after the installations have been done. This is for many reasons, as you would not want to purchase such things once they have been handled by another electrician. And there are safety and liability reasons also. Lastly, the manufacturer's technical manager did offer a solution for the issue. Unfortunately, we are not able to accept these items back as they are out of the period policy and not in sellable condition. We apologize for any convenience. Regards, Robert, GWG Outlet. My response to Robert. We did not know that the lights hung crooked until we installed them. You can't tell until you hang them, don't you agree? The solution they offer is not a real solution. Let's be realistic here. The pendants will never balance out simply because of time. They have been hanging for a couple of weeks and I assure you that they are as crooked as they were on the first day. It's disappointing that you and Elk will not refund any of the costs. These are expensive pendants and I'm literally going to throw them out. I run several businesses myself and when I sell a defective product, I refund it with much less hassle than I've already gone through with GWG and Elk. I understand it's a loss, but you have to be fair to the customer also. So that is my ordeal with GWG Outlet and Elk International. They do not stand by their products. Um, it is definitely defective. They are faulting me for installing them to discover they are defective. And their solution just does not make any sense. And any reasonable person will know that those, those lights are gonna stay crooked forever. So I'm gonna do exactly what I told them. I'm gonna take them all, take them out, throw them in the trash where they belong. Um, it's not my issue that they can't resell them. They shouldn't resell them anyway. Why are you selling a product that hangs like that? It's stupid. So anyways, that's my review. Do not buy from GWG Outlet. Do not buy from Elk International. Just terrible, terrible companies. So who is the man behind GWG Outlet? Well, GWG Outlet is a fictitious name registered to company B2B Epic LLC out of Plantation. So, what do we know about Epic? We know the registered agent is Rajesh Anand, Western Florida. So who exactly is Rajesh? Well, this is what I found out. This is where he lives. It's a pretty nice house. You would expect a nice house from someone who's robbing customers, not giving refunds for defective products, wouldn't you? You got a nice deal on this. And here is Rajesh himself. Rajesh and his family. Beautiful, beautiful family. And we get this. Rajesh is a pastor. Let's listen to him. What's he talking about here? I think he's talking about how he sells defective lights here. Um, what about this? Let's hear some more. Yeah. That's how he's saying. He's saying how he's not going to give me a refund in that one. So what about his Facebook? What can we find here? Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, amen. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord, 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 pray for you. So, maybe I didn't get my refund because I forgot to praise the Lord when I asked for it. Let's look at these Google reviews. Six reviews, 1.7 for GWG Outlet. What do we think about these? One star, incorrectly shipped, never received my order. Huh. There's one that's five stars from Raina Anand. Anand. Hmm, you mean like the same last name of the owner, Rajesh? No, that's not a suspicious review. Then we get another one. Bad review, bad review. Bad review, bad review. So, I think that's all we need to know about G&G Outlet. Bad, bad company. Do not buy. I'm out.